Hey guys, this is Jerry, welcome to the channel. Today is another video about the all new MG3 tutorial. In this video, I'll talk about all the controls and physical controls on your steering and behind your steering. That includes all the functions to change your display, to personalize your start buttons, and also your light and windscreen wiper control. You can find all the timestamps down below on the YouTube to skip forward if you wish to. And if you find this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe to like, that's the best way to support this channel. Alright, this is how the steering looks like on the MG3 New Zealand version for the base model Excite. The S and spec will be identical. First thing, we are going to go through the functions on your steering. The horn is just in between, push it down, that's as simple as it gets. Then on the right, you get this joystick. If it's not selected at the menu icon, going up and down allows you to change the volume on your music. Left and right allow you to change the track for your music, radio stations, whatever. Pushing it down allows you to pause or start the music again. So that's how to use this function. Well, it's not on the menu. But if you click the menu icon, this button over here, the middle one, that means the menu icon will show up display over there. Clicking left and right, up and down, allows you to control the dashboard instead. I'll explain dashboard in another video, but this is the way to use this menu icon. If you do not wish to use the menu icon again, click the menu again, that's disappear. Now these controls goes back to the volume or track control, whatever you want to call it. Then the top button over here, the phone call button, that works for to answer your phone call. If someone is ringing, you can single press this button to answer the phone call, or press and hold or double tapping this button to hang up. And while you're on the phone call, single tap means hang up. And this is the voice command button. This can only work on Apple CarPlay or Android Auto when something is, something is connected. If I press this button right now, it's not going to work. It will let you know it only works on App Connect Control function. And this button over here is your cruise control button. I'll explain the MG Pilot function in another video, but in this video, just quick guidance. Whenever you start driving on the vehicle at a certain speed, single press this button allows you to set the cruise control. Once you set the cruise control, the car will drive on the set speed. You can then go up and down over here to change your set speed, left and right to adjust the distance between you and the front traffic. To cancel the cruise control, either brake or either single tap this button again. You will always have the display on the left side of the panel to show you where the cruise control is on, is working, is falling anything, or if it's not working, whatever. Next, we have the left start button and right start button on the steering. You can personalize these two start buttons to do specific things. First thing, you want to swap the screen or just simply go to vehicle. Under the vehicle setting, there is a thing called convenience. Under the convenience, we want to select the first one, the left start button. You can do vehicle control, SRC, AC mode. And if you're driving the hybrid version, you can also have another function called drive mode selection. Whatever you select, that just means when you tap the left start button, it'll go into this particular control or go into this particular screen or change whatever you like. SRC means source for music source, by the way. Vehicle control, it just go into the vehicle screen just like this. AC mode, it'll switch to the AC screen, allows you to quickly control the AC. So if you do want to go to the AC, let's say I've selected the right start button to AC, this is what it looks like. While you're driving, you don't have to tap anything to change AC. What you want to do, click this, and your AC menu pops up, just like that. When your AC menu pops up, what you need to do for this particular control, just go up and down, that will change the AC temperature, and left and right to change the AC fan speed. How cool is that? And pushing it down allows you to con cancel or engage the AC, which means cooling or heating, whatever it needs. So that's how to control the AC. And whenever you finish controlling the AC, just press this icon again. That's all cancelled. It's all gone. So now these controls will go back to the volume control if the menu is not selected. So that's how to use the older controls on your steering wheel. Next is the windscreen wiper option. So when the windscreen wiper is leveled against the indicator, when nothing is switched on, it means the windscreen wiper is at off position. You can tell over here. So that's the first position. At the first position, pulling it down, that's one wiper, just like that, it will stop. And then if you go up to this click, that means the windscreen wiper is now turned on. If it's on the basic spec, the Excite version, 
turned on means it will run on a set speed. You can then go forward and backwards to change the set speed, this being lowest, that being the maximum. Where if you're driving the essence back, as it has ring sensing wipers, it just means going to the first click or switch on the auto ring wiper. And when it's on auto, you can also use this to go forward or backwards. Going all this way means the least sensitivity for the windscreen wiper. Going all the way to that means the maximum sensitivity for the windscreen wiper. Depends on your needs for the windscreen wiper, you can do whenever, whatever you like. Then if you keep going that up, so first click was the on, second click will be a low speed. It will be wiping all the way, even if you have wind sensing. Keep going up again, that will be the max speed for the front windscreen wiper. If you wish to watch the front wiper, just pull this against the steering and hold as long as you like, that will watch the front windscreen, just like that. And to control the rear windscreen wiper, just go forward, that will be switching on for the rear windscreen wiper. The rear windscreen wiper will be on a set speed, there's no ring sensing at all. Pulling it backwards, that means it's off. And if you want to watch the rear windscreen wiper, either twist and hold this way, or twist and hold all the way to the up. And then when you want to stop, just go back to off again. Now going to the left, that's light control. Whenever the vehicle is on, either half on with the accessory mode or fully on with the motor or engine on, your headlights will always be on with the daytime running headlights. That's got full LED daytime running. Then your main beam or low beam will be automatically switched on and switch off if this is pointed to the O position, which is automatic basically. If you do not want it to be automatic, you can switch off or switch manually on. What you want to do, twist it and release. You can see on the dashboard popping up, automatically lights off. I'll do again. Now automatically backs on. Do again, that's off. So that's how to turn off the automatic uh, light control if you do not want to the automatic lights. But when, when this is pointed to this position, whenever you switch the car on, automatically it will be on auto headlights. So switch on, switch off for you when it's dark, when it's light, whatever. Next, if you want to manually switch on the headlights, you can do first thing, this is more like a parking light. So you still have LED daytime running at the front, low beam at the front is off, but your rear tail lights will be on. So people can see you if you park on the side of the road, whatever. Then that's your low beam. So that's your night driving lights. You want to switch this to this position if you want manually switch it on. Otherwise, just to leave it at auto. Next is the fog lights. If you want to switch on the fog lights, on this particular version, there's only rear fog lights available. So twist it forward and release, the fog lights will come on. But you do notice all your lights will come on your low beam headlights, as when the fog light is on, automatically all the lights will be on, just like that. If you switch off the fog lights, all the lights are gone. So that's how to use the fog light switch on the new MG3. That's actually very different from other vehicles. If you want to do flashlight, pulling against the steering will show the blue light momentarily before it disappears again when you leave it the lever. Now under the vehicle settings, you can go into the lighting section. You can have a few functions. First one is called welcome headlights. That just means at night when you unlock the vehicle from distance or when you press the unlock button on your doors, on your keys, the vehicle will have a headlights on and tail lights on for about 30 seconds so you can see your vehicle. Next is called following me home. If you switch off the vehicle and after you switch off, pulling this lever towards the steering, the headlight will stay on for about 30 seconds so you can see your driveway. If you do not wish to have any of this, disable that. That's only fun. Find my car response, you can do off flashing or flashing on home. It just means when you are in the car park, the vehicle is fully locked. You cannot locate the vehicle. If you click the lock button on your key blade, the vehicle will give you response, either flashing or flashing plus home, depends on which one you select. Otherwise, it will be completely off. Next is auto high beam. You can engage and disengage this function if you like. What that means is if your lights are on auto position at night, the vehicle will be able to identify the surrounding environment under the conditions. That means it will automatically switch on the high beam for you. So you can see a bit further on the country road or anywhere. If you are following your vehicle with its tail lights, if you're passing by an area that has street lights, 
or if there's another vehicle coming to you with their headlights, it will automatically switch off the high beam for you. So your high beam will be switched off and your low beam will be back on again. And then after the situation comes completely dark again, it will switch on the high beam again automatically. If you do not wish to have it, of course, you can disable that. Pretty simple. And for you to manually engage the high beam, it's pretty simple as well. You just make sure your headlights are on, for example, in this situation, and just push it forward. You get the blue light over there. That's how to use your high beam. And then push it back forward again. High beam is off, just like that. Otherwise, if you're in auto scenario and the headlights are already on, you just need to push it forward to switch on the high beam for yourself or manually. On the right-hand side panel for the right-hand drive, you also find your wind mirror controls over here. Turn right to control the right wind mirror, go up and down, left and right, control it to the left, up and down, left and right. If you want to fold the wind mirror manually, push it down, that will fold, push it down again, that will unfold, just like that. Otherwise, stay on all position, it does nothing at all. On your right hand side panel, you will also find this level setting for your headlight leveling. On the zero, that's the highest leveling for the headlights. On two or three, that's the lowest leveling. Uh, generally speaking, if you are only driving the vehicle yourself, things like that, probably zero will be okay. Uh, but twist it to a little bit low on the headlights if someone is flashing their lights to you or if you think it's too bright or whatever. Otherwise, zero is fine for most majority of people. All right, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the contents. If you do, do not forget to subscribe and like. That's the best way to support this channel. As always, do not forget to check the link in the description down below to check the full tutorial on the MG3. It's continuously updated until the last episode. Thanks for watching. I will see you next video.